Hello everyone and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. I am Cause and we are done season four, week ten of Dragonflight. And what are we gonna talk about this week, huh? There has been a quiet week, but let's talk about the main subject line of the video. Without this game mode, I think leveling alts would continue to be a bit painful. I would not have this many 70s if it wasn't for Mop Remix. Thank goodness for the mailbox trick, because I did it. I've <laughs> Crazy. I've actually done it on two characters this week. Not only did I get the druid I was talking about last week up to level 70, I started another druid and got them up to level 70. So let's quickly take a look at those characters. So on the cult here and druid I showed you guys last week, I actually got really lucky because I was doing some heroics. I was like level 50 or something. Because I started him at 29, and that's when I started accumulating all the bonus experience for running dungeons, and not picking it up and having it sent to your mailbox, I kind of like was a bit behind. So the week or continued to not tell me to pick up the actual, like go to the mail and open my mail and hit 70, etc. So I started running it and kind of kept going and I got pretty lucky. I got into a group that was actually had like a 7 million uh, HP druid tank running with them. No, sorry, not a druid tank. It's a balanced druid. And in that we were running, they just keep kept spamming dungeons. Like he just kept, we did like 10 heroic dungeons, which got me up to the level I needed. So that way I can just open the mailbox and go right up to 70. I believe I was level 51. I was around there somewhere, right? So yeah, so we did that. We blasted through these heroics. I got a whole bunch of these items. I got a whole bunch of levels. And then I was like, I was so excited because I got to do it. So that's what we did. We went over and we did the mailbox trick. Yeah, so it was level 51. And yeah, here I am. I kind of just, I walk myself a little over to mailbox i take a look at what's in there the week or is telling me to open mail yes so i'm i'm super excited i'm like yes i'm gonna do it i'm level 51 122 item level which is funny because you go up to 70 and you're still pretty low but here we go we open the mailbox and we watch the levels just skyrocket we go to 51 to 56 to level 60 and all the way up to level 70 it would have been really funny if i actually didn't make it to level 70 that would have been extremely bad and embarrassing but we did it with this trick i got up to level 70 and then i've kind of played him a little bit not so much but that was the cult here in druid and because i was like hey you know what that was fun but let's do it again so i actually was during this time made a second druid and was leveling them at the exact same time so me being me and me already playing a druid i was like you know what i've already got a high mountain druid now i have a cult Tyrion druid so last week i showed you guys the different druid forms for cult Tyrion, which i absolutely love i think they're fantastic but the zandalari trolls also have a really cool set of forms so here's my new zandalari troll and check this out you have to be a giant turtle like with spikes if you are a tank for the zandalari troll their feral form is like a really mean raptory four-legged thing i don't even know what you would call that but another really cool farm spikes everything and then of course their flight form you get to be a giant pterodactyl the cool last piece of this and i forgot to look at it in the Kaltiran form is actually their underwater form you get to be a giant shark nothing like going for a swim with your fin sticking out you'd be this mean little shark right so yeah they they have some really cool druid for forms as well they're definitely a class i'd play but now i've got choices right now you can pick whatever you want and so with that not only did we do two druids this week we also started a rogue and here is our rogue friend already level 25 i think i just started this saturday or sunday one of those days anyway but yeah, so we also made a rogue because leveling in Mop Remix is probably one of the easiest things you can do. So after this rogue, actually even during this rogue, I think right after this video, I'm going to make a chamois as well. And here we're going to take our Zandalari Druid from level 39 straight up to level 70 using the mailbox trick. Once again, really cool. I finally did it right. The way to do this and to get it right is to just run your heroic. I did the heroic raid or the heroic dungeon and the heroic scenario every day right i did that and did not pick up any of the bonus xp items right you just kind of leave them around let them go to your mailbox up until level 25 that's when you make your own groups for mogashan vaults then just leave all the bonus xp items there they will come to your bag and repeat this every day every day i was doing the heroic scenario the heroic dungeon and then mogashan vaults i hit level 39 in the week or i said it's time to pick up and open the mailbox and that's what i did and as you just saw i went from 39 to 70 almost instantly on the zandalari druid 
and it really does feel like this is turning into a mop remix channel i promise you it's not it's just i love this game mode so much let's talk about the ret paladin and what we did on him we ended last week at 378 item level and like i said i want to keep pushing his his item level up her item level up and get it right up to max level at 476 and i really want to see some numbers coming up i actually was doing like heroic raids now and at 434 was actually and i was doing some significant numbers i was in the 2 million dps mark which felt pretty good obviously there's people blasting way higher than i am but we're going into mogashan vaults we're doing heart of fear we're doing terrace of endless springs we're doing throne of thunder and we're doing siege of orgrimmar we're collecting all those threads we're getting more powerful we're using that bronze and we're upgrading so we're 434 at the start of week 10 and i plan to get her up to 476 this week that is completely possible i think i can get enough bronze if not i will be like one upgrade away by the end of next week right so that's the plan i'm going to keep doing the dailies the raids as much as i can on the ret paladin because it feels really good to play having this ret paladin it's like a ranged melee is so much fun so i do plan on playing the paladin a lot more this week and getting her pushed up to 476 and what are some of the other things we did this week well we continue to do our regular king's rest and under rot mount farms i've got all of these characters parked outside of nazmir because as i basically do one dungeon i fly over to the next one and i just leave those characters there they're level 70 some have some gear some i don't really play anymore but what i do is i basically go into under rot i run it i kill the last boss i don't get my mount and then i leave and i fly over to king's rest i go to the last boss i kill the last boss and i continue not to get the mount i've been running these dungeons consistently for weeks on multiple characters as you saw on my login screen i've got a lot of these characters and once mop remix ends and all of those 70s become retail the disappointment can continue as i have to park them outside of those outside of those dungeons and keep trying to get these mounts i really hope i can get at least one so i can focus on the last dungeon and then i can move them all over to a new raid or a new instance or something that i need to do to farm another mount or a rare even but i think the next one's going to be dragon soul i need the very last mount out of there and it's from the last boss deathwing so i have to do the whole raid so that's the downside but maybe i'll make some gold as we're at it all right well moving from that let's jump right back into more retail and let's talk about the death knight it was actually a pretty quiet week when it came to retail the monk is now on the back burner because i haven't really played it much right so i've been focusing more on the dk like i said i wanted to do some more keys to get the aspect crest so i can upgrade his gear and well that's exactly what we got to do this week I believe the DK ran was six or seven dungeons, and we made a couple changes to his gear. Specifically, we had a set of boots that actually gave verse and mastery, and because we're so high on mastery, I decided to swap that out for the boots I had that were 505, which were crit verse, which I have on now, and then I upgraded them to 515 because they're not mythic track. I didn't want to use too many of my aspects to get it there. And because the 515 upgrade costs nothing because that's where the last set of boots were. It only cost some flight stones. So we did that. The next thing we did is we actually used our aspect crest to upgrade the headpiece we got last week from the mythic bolt. We upgraded the 404 mythic. So it's 528. And then we went and catalyzed it. We got our mythic track headpiece. That's a tier from last week's vault. And that was it for the upgrades. We do have more aspects spec crests which we we are going to use we went up from 525 to 526 item level nothing crazy but every little bit helps when you're this far into the season so that's where he is today let's go ahead and let's take a look at his vault we're opening it as unholy spec just like we do every other week we'll have at least two of the mythic mythic vault slots and this is what we're looking at obviously the weapon is absolutely useless for us we already have feralath and unfortunately i already have this transmog making it even more useless next up we have another mythic track headpiece we already have one so that leaves us with taking sockets for the week we've already got three in our bags meaning we can get two sockets for the dk and get some more gems in his gear 
And the last thing we did last week is we did some Mythic Raid boss testing. There's going to be a link in the description below. To, if you want to check out those videos, I've got a playlist of everything we've done for raid testing in the War Within so far. We've tried every boss that's been released. The Mythic bosses are looking fantastic. We tried the normal raid. That felt fine. We got all the way up to the Silken Court. It actually didn't feel that bad. It was the boss tuning for normal felt good. The, the mechanics weren't overly complicated. I think it's in a good spot going into the War Within. And then lastly we tried some beta mythic plus we tried a five city of threads a three city of threads and a four arakara city of the echoes all i know is that tyrannical bosses slap really hard i don't know how i really feel about the apex yet as a death knight i had to there's times where it was very satisfying to use death grip and pull all of the orbs in and be able to just hear that shattering sound they make because it sounds really cool but then there's times where you're moving a boss or something's happening and you can't help or the team doesn't do it it kind of hurts and the bosses just slap some of the mechanics hit so hard and it happens one after the other and after the other and it was just painful we are also only tuned at 597 eye level, which I believe is Mythic Zero or Heroic level gear. So it's kind of understandable that this is going to hurt. So I'm holding off any judgment about this being good or bad or overtuned or undertuned. It is exactly what it needs to be for beta. The dungeons do look really cool and the bosses felt actually kind of fine. The three I did felt much better because it didn't have tyrannical. The rule of the three was I just wanted to get through the dungeon to see what the bosses feel like, learn the mechanics. That's why I dropped it down to the three. Same with Arakura. I really wish we didn't have tyrannical so we could have gotten through it. The last boss feels in tense there's so much going on it was really hard to follow and there's a poison aoe that comes out people will die instantly anyway i'm looking forward to trying these out in live or maybe even doing some more beta testing if they come up i might even just go do heroics so i can learn the mechanic blizzard's cooking up some ideas so why not give them the chance to see how this all plays out i'm not a fan of the death timer the fit the, the 15 second death timer i think that may be a little too punishing there's already a high disband rate when it comes to hugging so let's maybe let's get rid of that let's have seven be something completely different right and let's 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 get away from that 15 second death timer that would be the only criticism i have for the new apex and the things that are coming out but overall let, i want to play it i want to see what it's like i'm excited for the new season i'm excited for new dungeon i'm excited for new raid so that was my time in beta what is the plan for this week i believe there is more beta testing happening this week so thursday and friday i plan on getting in there trying those mythic bosses and throwing out some videos for you guys if you haven't seen my other videos again there's a description down below check them out they're just quick little hey here's what the fight looks like here's what the mechanics do and here's what i think of it check out the videos hit that like and subscribe button if you find them interesting and so you can be alerted when more of these come out We're also going to be playing the the blood dk in retail of course we got to do some retail we got to get that time into there i was thinking lately maybe i'm going to start doing keys on all of my alts and by all of my alts i mean the ones that have some gear what i want to do is do at least one key that will upgrade the alt gear right so if at some point all of my gear is 506 and the next dungeon that drops a higher piece of gear is is a three or a four or whatever it is i want to start going up to that next higher dungeon until the end of the season so those characters have a little easier time leveling so i've been thinking of doing that time permitting i may do it you may see some more vaults next week from other characters and then lastly of course back to the thing we started talking about at the beginning of this video was mop remix yes i will be playing more mop remix my goal is to get the rope to 70 probably a chamois to 70 and then we'll see let's see if we can get the pally to 476 you know that that is the plan for this week i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys had great vaults this week i hope whatever you're doing in the game you're enjoying if you've had a chance to play beta let me know down below what you think of it and how things are going for you otherwise i wish you guys a fantastic week good luck in your vaults and i will see you on the next one peace out everybody